come to this. Yep. How you doing, gold team? After an, uh, after an afternoon and a half of the we're all a little bit at least the red team today. More like the red lobster team. <laughs> and it's great to see you here on day one, the Joko Cruise. <laughs> things to get through before the actual concert. We're going to try and get through this very quickly. So for the last time for the gold team this particular year, good morning students. Good morning, Thank you. It is time for the morning announcements. First of all, a reminder, if you have decor on your door, please get it taken down as soon as possible. You don't need to go do it right this second, but maybe before you go to dinner, if there's any left, the ship would really appreciate it. Also, if you put any decorations up around the ship, or even if it's not yours, if you see any googly eyes on stuff, etc., please give the ship a hand in helping us take those down carefully and safely. Do not just take a hammer to the statue or whatever. Uh, you sound very disappointed again. You can't take a hammer to the statue. What did I bring the hammer for? She's uh, sitting there with two hammers. Is this my art, damn it? Uh, the front desk notifies us that they have quite a healthy trove of stuff in the lost and found. <laughs> if you lost something, they did use the word trove. It's a whole box full of the blues. Yeah. We've lost. Uh, no, if you have lost something, or even if you think you might, or if you just maybe want to see what kind of cool stuff you can pick up, <laughs> head, on deck sale. head on to the head on to the guest services desk on deck one, and uh, maybe just be a real good guesser. <laughs> and if you're not thinking of a crafting room, please go ahead and do that as well. Uh, yes, yes, if there's any other uh, crafting. Did, did you, kind of if you left something anywhere, go yeah. get it. Yeah, <laughs> if you need some time. Except for the key, key, it's gone. No, you can't go there. Yeah. Um, disembarkation. Boo. Yay! For those of, so there's three sort of categories of people. Technically, there's four categories of people. If you're staying on the ship, such as Drew is, yeah. you don't really have to do squat. Uh, if you have signed up for luggage, I do squat. You have to that. Staying in front of a full theater, people squatting. Oh. If you get the high chart every year, you can uh, chart our decline. It's all about health and fitness for me. <laughs> I have a watermelon. <laughs> Back in my cabin, sorry, I'm just yeah. demonstrating. We're just free associating at this point. Uh, so if you get, if you got signed up for luggage direct, you'll be receiving your baggage tags in your packet, I believe, any minute if it's not already there. Follow the instructions there, attach the tags to your bags as directed, and make sure they are outside of your room at the proper time. I believe that's midnight, but don't quote me on that. If you are just taking all of your stuff with you off the ship, if you're carrying all your own luggage, then great, you can do that anytime and you don't need to get any tags or anything. The last category, if you want the ship to take your larger bags or any bags from here on the ship to the terminal, so you at least don't have to carry them down through all the hallways and such, you can do that. If you want to do that, there's a kiosk directly across from guest services in the atrium with a bunch of baggage tags with different color-coded and numbered tags depending on the time you want to leave. There's a big monitor right next to it that breaks down the different boarding or deboarding, unboarding, non-boarding times, the go-away times, and you can just pick the tag that corresponds to the time you want to get off of the ship. And again, get those tags on your bags and leave your bags outside your stateroom by midnight if you want them to take them off for you. What's that? The never tags? Just throw your, throw your suitcase over the side. Yeah. Uh, the onboard booking desk had the never tags, and 
something again. It's all the mall. So that ends the morning announcements. Now it is time to go to the thanking part. And to start off the thanking part, we would like to welcome to the stage uh, from the New Amsterdam, Valerie Perry, the Cruise and Travel Director. Please welcome Valerie. has certainly put smiles on the faces of all of our team members. You couldn't see them because they were behind our masks, but trust me, they were there. All we did was our little put smiles on your faces. Did it work? Did our team do it? I am so happy to hear that. I have no doubt that they did. We are 760 team members strong, and tonight I'm going to introduce you to each and every one of them. from the team. The first is no stranger to Joko Cruises. She is a fellow Joko not herself. Please welcome your finance manager, Nicole. Just to interrupt, to, to clarify, Nicole uh, was working on Joko Cruise in 2019, I believe. And at the end of that cruise, she decided that she was going to take time off and attend as a passenger in 2020, where she did. throughout the week, so they have been a very busy team. Now, next up we have the main liaison between the onboard New Amsterdam team and the Joko Cruise team. Her role is to ensure that this whole thing comes together, and judging by how much fun I have seen you all having this week, I would say she has done a pretty great job. So please welcome your group and event coordinator, Achi. Cosplay day, Atchie was wearing a full Cruella de Vil outfit. And tonight we are actually all wearing our pajamas. We all sleep in these blue suits, so it is pajama night for us. Next up, please welcome your executive housekeeper, Sham. responsible for the exceptional cleanliness of the vessel, also the entire laundry operation, also a lot of the furniture, all of the event setups, adding tables and chairs and rearranging the existing furniture. The team of 14 laundry attendants processed over 20,000 towels this week, and the team of 29 stateroom attendants made over 5,100 towel animals. person on board, the most beloved person on board. His team of about 370 team members is responsible for the 24,000 meals served over the voyage, including 1,250 pinnacle grill orders, and perhaps most importantly, the 2,080 Wang Wangs consumed.
gentleman. He's been with Holland American Line for over 20 years. He oversees the entire hotel operation here on board. Please welcome your Hotel General Manager, Bart. American Alliance operations. He actually used to work here on board. He used to have my job, but now he does work in our corporate office, and he is the main liaison between any charters, such as the Joko Cruise Team, the onboard team, and all of our shoreside operations. He's been with Holland American Line for 10 years. Please welcome Jan Busan. of those 760 team members that we do have here on board. Again, we thank you for cruising with us. As I've mentioned, our team is truly incredible. They all leave their homes and their families for months at a time, come here to work every single day, all with one goal, and that's creating a vacation experience that gives you memories that last a lifetime. So thank you for being here with us. Uh, as has been mentioned throughout the week, especially uh, on the early days of the cruise, uh, we talked about uh, 2020 and how the 2020 Joko cruise was the last cruise for New Amsterdam before our historic pause in operations. And in fact, when all of you, many of you were here for that cruise, when you disembarked on March 14th, there would not be another guest to cross our gangway for 497 days. So it is emotional for us to have you all back here with us. This ship was the first uh, back into service in July of this year for our fleet. Thank you very much. But as important as that initial sailing was, I have to say this one is even more important because it truly feels like a homecoming, a return to normalcy. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for coming back and sailing with us. And on behalf of your captain, your room Bayans, and all 760 team members, we'll see you in This was a beautiful voyage. It was a lovely to be Now that we're done thanking them, we have a whole big other list of people to thank. We have a bunch of them gathered over in the corner. I'm going to ask you all to come around to the front right now while you off a bunch of names. Most of you are here, some of you are not. Uh, we're going to plow through. Uh, we're going to ask that you hold your applause until the end of the list and then let out the entire list's worth of applause for all of them. Uh, this is our, uh, our closest staff. Anna, Nathaniel, Leanne, Steph, Shadowmaster Bob, Kate, our social media liaison, and Tara. Uh, boy, what a rough ride it's been. Thank you for uh, being with us for two years. Diana and Steve Bloss and Tara Carpenter at Worldwide Travel. Jan Hassan, who just left the stage and has a fantastic physique. <laughs> Danielle and the entire Lady Killer team. Mark, Saul, Jay, and the whole main theater tech team. Josh and the shadow tech team. There's a lot of people on this list. Ship, list. Ship listener Anna Bean. <laughs> Joe Kim, Kevin and Rin and the Game Library team, all of the consultants, Christine Fellows and the crafting team, World 9 Gaming for all the console gaming, Paul Searle and the video team, Bat Steve and the Shutternauts, which is a fantastic thing. 
Aaron and David with the merch, Mike Palmer for the website, Liz Connor for our graphic design, Glenn, Ben, and the entire Twitter team, and Brandon Adams uh, for, for our warehousing, and, uh, and finally, uh, no longer with us, but we miss him every time we do one of these, uh, Leon Benassian, who, who got us our start uh, as a, as a as a, uh, as a fun cruise. <laughs> so thank you. Man. So on behalf of the four of us, because we can't make enough noise, will you please thank all the people on that list? All these people. Thank you. 